What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just right there. Right down there. <laughs> right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-I Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. It's time to get this right. Your video started. Right, y'all, I know today is Holly Festival. It's really probably the first festival I kind of learned about when I started, you know, learning about the, the festivals in India and the culture and the movies and everything. Holly was the first, and that's the one I was like, I want to go celebrate Holly Festival in India one day because I thought it was just beautiful, the colors and, and all that. But I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I don't know much of the history behind it. Do you know why they did the festival and stuff? So I got this video here, the Festival of India Holly stories that I thought, I don't know, maybe it could show. Someone re requested it, uh, suggested it for me. And I was like, well, let's check it out for Holly because I'm gonna have some more stuff coming. Don't you worry, today is Holly. We're gonna celebrate with some videos. Y'all ready to get this started? Let's go. I got my coffee and everything. We're gonna get some story time. Holi is one of the most important festivals in India. It is celebrated with full of enthusiasm on the full moon day in the month of Fagu, which is in the month of March. Holi festival may be celebrated with various names and people of different states might be following different traditions. Oh, right. But what makes Holi so unique and special is the spirit of the festival, which remains the same throughout the globe, wherever it is celebrated. Holi is one of those ancient Hindu festivals which has become popular with non-Hindus in many parts of the world. Oh, okay. In this video, we will tell you the stories behind this festival. Yeah, the I first mean. story is about Holika and Prahalad. For many traditions in Hinduism, Holi celebrates the death of Holika, who died in order to save Prahalad. And we can see where Holi gets its name. Yeah, I get it. The I night get it. before Holi, Pyres are burned in North India oh, in keeping with this tradition. I saw my friend post that. My it should also be noted that in some parts I of India, it. the day is actually called Holika. There are other activities associated with the story of Prahalad. But the burning of Holika is the one that we can most it. directly associate with Holi. That they were so, burning. What is the story? According to Bhagavad Puran, once a demon king, Hiranyakashipu, wanted to be immortal. How is so, demon? to fulfill this desire, he performed the required penances until he was granted a boon by Brahma. Oh, okay. Since the gods rarely granted immortality, he used his guile and cunning thoughts to get a boon that he thought made him immortal. Though different Puranas have different tellings of the boon, here we are going to say about the most popular one. Hiranyakashipu asked Brahma for five special powers. I thought he gets one more, now he wants five. He couldn't be killed by a human being or an animal. He couldn't be killed indoors or outdoors. <laughs> what? He couldn't be killed at day or at what? night. He couldn't be killed by astra, that is projectile weapon. Okay or by any Shastra, what? that is, handheld weapons. And he couldn't be killed on land, water or air. As this wish was granted, Hiranyakashipu felt invincible, well, which yeah, made him arrogant. He, gonna kill him he they decreed they that. that only he be worshipped as a god. He punished and killed anyone who this did why, not accept this his is why orders. You gotta be careful with the boons. But his son, Prahalad disagreed with his father and refused to worship his father as a god. He continued believing and worshipping Lord Vishnu. Well, of course. This made Hiranyakashipu very angry mm. and he made various attempts to kill Prahalad. His own son. During a particular attempt on Prahalad's life, King Hiranyakashipu called upon his sister, Holika. Oh, we know who that is. Holika had a special club garment that prevented her from being harmed by fire. Hiranyakashipu asked her to sit on a bonfire with Prahlad. 
by tricking the That's boy they, to sit on her lap. That's why they have the fire However, stone. as the fire rolled, the garment flew from Holika and oh. covered Prahlad. Oh. Holika burned to death. Prahlad came out unharmed. Oh. This story is known as Holika Dhan or Holika's death which signifies the triumph of good over evil. Oh yes, that's what Holika I Holika is associated with the annual bonfire on the night before Holi, the now Hindu festival the of colors. The second story is associated with immortal what? love of Radha and Krishna. Oh, it was Krishna, the king of Dwarka, who popularized the tradition of Holi. The origin of the colorful and playful tone of Holi lies in the boyhood of Krishna. I can see that with the colors and uh, Kansa, the Brishni king and uncle of Krishna, sends danger to his life from his infant nephew. When he grows up, Kansa sent the demon Bhutana, disguised as a woman, to poison the infant Krishna under the guise of breastfeeding. See? Baby Krishna sucks not only the poisonous milk but Putana's blood too, transforming her back into a demon. Mm -hmm. She runs and bursts into flames while the infant Krishna transitions into his characteristic dark blue skin Aww. color. The day before Fagwa is celebrated by burning Putana. According to tales, in his youth, Krishna was sad about fair skinned Radha. He also doubted whether Radha or other gopis would like him because of his dark skin. His mother, tired of the desperation, asked him to approach Radha and color her face in any color he wanted. Krishna did this and he Aww. and Radha became a couple. The playful That's coloring cute. of the face of Radha has henceforth been celebrated see, as holy. So this holy play of Krishna and Radha with gopis is well documented in hundreds of ancient paintings, murals and scriptures. There is also another story behind holy that involves a burning sacrifice for the sake of love. Really? The story of Shiva and Kamdev. Was Shiva too? Before Lord Shiva was married to Goddess Parvati, Kamdev, the god of love, and his wife <laughs> Rati tried to help Goddess Parvati <laughs> to win Shiva as her husband. Oh, really? Kamdev shot his arrow at Shiva like in a order Cupid. to disturb his meditation Is that like and a to Cupid? make him marry Parvati. We, we believe in like but the, the disturbance total. caused Shiva to open his third eye and its powerful gaze burned Kamdev into ashes and his wife Rati was heartbroken. Oh, no. Although we don't you know, know if the arrow did arrow. work or not, <sighs> but Shiva and Parvati did marry. At their wedding, Rati begged Shiva to bring Kamdev back to her. Lord Shiv agreed and restored Kamdev as a virtual image with true emotions. Hmm. Oh, Seeing this, all the gods and goddesses showered colors from the heaven. Oh, so that's the colors come from. In here. some parts of India, especially in Bengal, Bengal and Orissa, Holi Purnima is also celebrated as the birthday of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. That is the birthday. Well, I've learned so much. I have. I. Have. I, I was wondering too, I have a friend, well, it's, it's Pabria, I don't know if y'all know, and he's on my Facebook and I saw him post like a video of the burning, and I was like, oh, for Holly, I figured, but I was like, oh, I didn't know what it was for. Now I know. Now I know with the burning, and even they have the stories with the Krishna, and, put in the, and that's where the colors kind of come in, right? Krishna putting the colors on, on Raha, and... The, the gods bringing the color. Oh, I, I love it. This is, I love this, this festival. Well, we're going to react to some more videos. So y'all stay tuned, y'all. All right, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, mwah!